This is the four blood moon tetrat from 2014 through 2015. And then we have the Revelation 12 sign. And what we're going to show in this video is that both of these are absolutely connected. We were never to look at them as, yes, they were separate events, but they are connected and they're both pointing to the exact same timeline of the escape. But before we get into all of this, I just want to make a statement. I just, I just really want to make this statement and just have everyone just sit back for a second. And I really want you to think about this next statement that I'm going to make. Because this is how my journey started several days ago last week. I was just pondering exactly what I'm about to tell you. And while I was pondering this, I was on Discord talking to our dear brother, Wu. Our dear brother, Wu, comes on here uh, sometimes, and he also teaches. He teaches um, a lot of Bible studies and scriptures uh, here on the Sword of God. And, and so him and I were just on Discord the other day. Actually, it was several days ago last week. And we were just talking, you know, just in general about things. And we were the only two in, in, a, in a different chat room. We were just talking to each other. And, and as I was pondering what I'm about to tell you right now, all of a sudden, it just came to me like a flood. And, and I just screamed out loud. I said, that's it. That's it. I've got it. I found it. It just, it just flashed in front of my eyes like a little movie. And, and it happened within three, maybe four or five seconds. And Brother Wu was all excited. He goes, what, what happened? What did you see? What did you see? I, and so I kind of explained it to him. Um, but, then, but then I had to let him go because I really wanted to get into the scripture and see if what I saw was was exactly the way it plays out in scripture and sure enough it did and that's what led me on this journey for the last several days and putting this video together and brothers and sisters believe me you have never seen a video like you are about to see and i want to say something to you and this is what i want to tell you what i, what I want to tell you is exactly what was i thinking and what was i pondering and I'm going to just kind of lead into this right now. So I had to ask myself, when was Jesus crucified? Well, we all know that was Passover, right? We all know Jesus Christ was crucified during a Passover weekend. You know, it's a historical fact. We know that. And we know that he was arrested and crucified during that Passover weekend. That's absolutely a fact. And so I said, well, what was going on during those times and what would it be during this time that we're in now that could possibly lead us to a greater understanding of when Yahshua HaMashiach was coming to escape his bride? When was he coming back? Is it possible? Was there something that happened at Passover? Was there something that could have possibly happened at Passover that links directly to the escape of the bride and all of us just kind of missed it in the scriptures. And the answer is emphatically yes. And that's what dawned on me. And it came into my mind as a flood, like a little movie playing out. And I saw the whole thing. And what I want to say is this. So we have Passover Sunday Right? We all know when that is. When did it become Resurrection Sunday? Because Resurrection Sunday, back in those days, they never existed. In, in the days of Yahshua HaMashiach, prior to his crucifixion, there was no such thing as Resurrection Sunday. There was no Easter Sunday. They always had the days of Passover and then Passover Sunday. That's all they had. They did not know anything else. I want everyone to think about that for a second. When did Resurrection Sunday come into existence? Is it dawning on everybody yet? Is, is it impacting anybody at this moment as I'm saying these words? That Passover Sunday at some point must have turned into Resurrection Sunday? 
And we all know when that is, don't we? We just need to, need to ponder and think about it. R- Resurrection Sunday came instantaneously <clears throat> on Passover Sunday when Yahshua HaMashiach rose from the dead. On the third day, when Yahshua HaMashiach rose from the dead, Passover Sunday immediately became, for the first time, Resurrection Sunday. I want everyone to think about that. I want to show everyone something real quick. Let's go into the calendar. This is 33 CE, the time of Christ on earth and the time of his crucifixion. So here's the Friday when he was to be crucified. This is Saturday and this is Sunday. Day one, day two, day three. On the third day, he arose. And it was from the evening of the fourth, which is here, which is the morning of the fourth here on Sunday. So it's the morning of the fourth when Jesus Christ rose from the dead on the third day. And this Passover Sunday, this Passover Sunday became, nope, it changed the date on me. It became Resurrection Sunday. You see, even as of this day, it was still Passover. Even as of this day, it was still Passover, which is the Sabbath, right? Because they're Saturdays. That's a Saturday. This Saturday was their, was their Sabbath. And this day to them, as far as they knew when they were getting up that morning, it was still their Passover Sunday. But the moment, the moment Yahshua HaMashiach rose from the dead that morning, In fulfillment of the scriptures, it now changed from a Jewish feast day of Passover Sunday, and instantaneously, instantaneously, this day now became our blessed hope. When our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, rose from the dead, and it instantly became a Christian feast day, a Christian celebration, the first resurrection. This, brothers and sisters, changed going from the old testament to the new testament the new testament was fulfilled on that third day when yahshua hamashiach rose from the dead and it changed from a jewish a hebrew passover sunday to a christian resurrection sunday and brothers and sisters that's the basis of the rest of this video So I just want to show everybody, where are we now? Where are we now? In 2033, there it is, going from the evening of April 4th through the morning of April 4th here on Sunday is Resurrection Sunday in 33 CE or AD. Where are we today? Let's look at it. When we go to first, this is a Friday, pass, fr- Passover on Friday, Passover Saturday, Passover Sunday, April 4th. What is that this year? It's there. It's the Hebrews Passover Sunday, but for us, Resurrection Sunday, April the 4th, this year, this year, is Resurrection Sunday. I want that to impact everybody. Because as we all know, Passover and Resurrection Sunday does not always come in the same same time every year. It staggers. It's only sometimes, only sometimes does Passover Sunday fall also on Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday. And as we've shown everyone, And I'll show you here, even on the HebCal calendar, maybe it's easier for everyone to see. So that's Friday, when Christ was crucified, buried. This is their Sabbath, Saturday, and then Sunday, April the 4th, the last day of the Passover, Passover Sunday. Their Passover Sunday 
is our Easter Sunday this year. And I kind of lost my place there. No, we'll just get back to this one here. So our Easter Sunday is right here. I'll show you here, right here. April the 4th is our Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday. On the Gregorian calendar, April 4th is our Easter Sunday. And for the Hebrews, it's their Passover Sunday. Is it dawning on you, brothers and sisters, that from the first resurrection, which was the evening from the third going into the fourth on their Sabbath, it ended their Passover Sunday on April the 4th in 33 CE. And this year, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, April 4th, Passover Sunday, this year turns into Resurrection Sunday, just as it did in the first resurrection 2,000 years ago. And now let's get into this a little bit further. Oh, there's a lot more coming. Let's go into 1 Thessalonians. And we'll go to chapter 4. And it's 416. We all know this verse. For the Lord himself shall descend, up, descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. The Lord will descend from heaven with a shout, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Brothers and sisters, we all know, and there's historical documents, and it's even in Scripture, that when Christ rose from the dead on Resurrection Sunday, on Passover Sunday, a lot of graves were opened up on that day. There were people rising from the dead. So let's put that into greater context. Yahshua HaMashiach arose from the dead on what was there, the Hebrews, the Jewish Passover Sunday, which now when he rose from the dead became Resurrection Sunday for the first time in history, which was back then April the 4th. And this year in 2021, that exact same scenario was playing out where Passover Sunday lands on April the 4th and so does Resurrection Sunday lands on April the 4th and the dead in Christ rose when Yahshua HaMashiach rose from the dead on April the 4th in 33 AD, the dead in Christ did rise and graves were opened. Is it possible brothers and sisters that this April 4th, which happens to fall on the same Passover Sunday, April 4th, as it did in 33 AD, is it possible brothers and sisters that this year, April the 4th, which also is Passover Sunday and turns into Resurrection Sunday on the same day, is it possible, brothers and sisters, that that's exactly what this verse is telling us, that the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so that we shall ever be with the Lord. And by the end of this video, brothers and sisters, the answer is going to be yes. Oh, this is, I'm, this is just the intro. We, we have barely even just gotten started yet. But I want to show you what this word shout means, because we're going to get back to this later in the video, and I want to be able to reference this later on. What does the word shout mean? It means a cry of an incitement to make someone do something, to cry out to them, to incite them to do something. And it's used one time in the Bible. One time in scriptures that this word shout is used. And what else does it mean? It means to hail, to incite by a word, to bid, to give a commandment. So the Lord is giving a commandment. He's, he's hailing to people. He's shouting because he's giving a commandment to raise the dead. 
the Lord himself is giving a commandment to raise the dead. And brothers and sisters, I'm going to show you exactly where this definition and this word shout, I'm going to show you where else it plays out in the scriptures that all of us missed and we should have caught it. And had we caught it, we would know exactly the timeline that we're in now. So what I want to show everybody is this. And we're going to go over to here. So this is kind of what we were talking about just now. It's kind of like a summary. The blood moons, I want everyone to pay attention. So what we, what we showed, first of all, let's start with this. In 33 AD, it was April the 4th 30, in the year 33, when our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, rose from the dead. And in this year, in this year, in 2021, it plays out the exact same way. Passover Sunday falls on April 4th, which this year is also Resurrection Sunday. You see? Passover Sunday becomes Resurrection Sunday on the same day. And this does not happen every year. Passover and Resurrection Sunday does not always happen in the exact same year. The, the weeks and the days are scattered. Did you just catch what's on the screen, brothers and sisters? You see this? Is everybody looking at that? The last blood moon, there's two blood moons on Passover and two blood moons on Tabernacles, Sukkot. The last blood moon that occurred in 2015, April 4th. April 4th. Could this be, brothers and sisters, that this is exactly what this sign was showing us? That this second Passover, giving the date, giving us the exact date of April the 4th, when the first Passover turned into Resurrection Sunday. And now our Lord God is telling us to watch for this date. For when this date comes around again, it shall be Passover Sunday, turning to Resurrection Sunday. And could this be what our Lord was showing us in the heavens with these signs? that we are to be looking for the Passover with this date? And I say the answer is yes. And this was the reason for this sign. And we're going to get back to this in a little bit, and I'm going to show you a little bit further why there's two, why there are two Passover blood moons, and why there are two Sukkot blood moons. But I just wanted to show you how this lines up, that the last warning for the Passover in the blood moon is April the 4th, and yes, that fell, this fell on a Passover Sunday going into and from April 4th to the 5th, Easter Resurrection Sunday. It's a match. It's an exact match. And here it is. I want to show this to everyone. Look at this verse. In Luke 6, 1, and it came to pass on the second Sabbath after the first that he went through the cornfields and his disciples plucked the ears of corn. And we're going to get into this verse a little bit deeper, a little bit later on, but I just wanted to show you something. And it came to pass that the second Sabbath after the first, he went through the cornfields and his disciples and plucked the ears. And I'm going to show you how this verse ties into also the escape of the bride when our Lord and Savior Yahshua HaMashiach comes to take his bride off the face of the earth. But look at how it's worded. The second Sabbath after the first. If this is marking the first Sabbath, the first Passover in this tetrad, and he's pointing to the second Sabbath. There it is. You can't make this up. It's staring at us right in the face. The second Sabbath after the first is April the 4th. The first resurrection was on April the 4th. Passover Sunday became Resurrection Sunday on April the 4th in 33 AD. And now this year, brothers and sisters, here it is. 2021, April the 4th, Passover Sunday once again becomes Resurrection Sunday all in the same day, just as the Blood Moon Tetrad most likely warned us about. This is the warning 
this is the date. And now we're going to build on this, brothers and sisters. We're, we're, we're just building. And I want to show you something else that I caught. And we just kind of said this, but I'm just kind of go over it again. This, what you need to understand is the first Sabbath is on a Saturday. Here, I'll show you in the, in the, um, on the calendar. We'll go to the calendar. So on Saturday, that's their first Sabbath. Okay. Then when you come here for Passover and it turns to Resurrection Sunday, this is our Sabbath. Do you see what's going on? This will be their Sabbath day Saturday, but this becomes ours because it's the first resurrection of Yahshua HaMashiach. So is it possible, brothers and sisters, that's exactly what this verse is also saying. Besides this date, being the second blood moon after the first, the second Sabbath after the first, it could also mean that the first Sabbath was a Saturday and the second Sabbath is a high Sabbath resurrection day. I think this verse has dual meanings. Just as the first Sabbath, this would be the first Sabbath of resurrection, the same date, this could be the second Sabbath of resurrection. I want that statement that I just said, to sink in for a second. If this date could be the first Sabbath of the first resurrection, which it actually was, this in fact was the first Sabbath of the first resurrection. What does it say here? Second Sabbath after the first. If this is the first, could this now be 2021, the second Sabbath after the first one, the second resurrection after the first. Brothers and sisters, I want this to impact you. This really could be what this verse is referring to. It has a dual meaning. Actually, a triple meaning. Because if you look at the blood moons, this is the second Sabbath after the first. And there's the date. When you look here, this is the first resurrection. The first resurrection on the Sabbath. Could this be today? I mean, I'm sorry, on April the 4th, could this be this year? The second Sabbath, the second resurrection Sunday that we've been looking for, our blessed hope, when the dead in Christ rise first, and then we are caught up in the air to meet them. Could this be the second Sabbath, the second resurrection of the dead? The second Sabbath after the first. Brothers and sisters, we, we, I'm telling you, th this video is just beginning. There is more and more and more. I'm just building, I'm just... I'm just giving you information so we can build up and, and, and show you what's coming next. But I do want to make this statement, as we have said, that not every Passover Sunday lines up every year with Resurrection Sunday. It's, it's not. It does not line up all the time that way. There are, there are Sundays uh, during Passover where it's not Resurrection Sunday. And here it is. So let's go through it. I made a little list. So here's some years, starting from this year through the next few years, 2021 to 2026. And the question is, yes or no, does this year, do any of these years, does it fall on a Passover Sunday and a Resurrection Sunday? In 2021, it's yes. Resurrection Sunday and Passover Sunday, as I've shown you, is the same date. 2022, no. 2023, no. 2024, no. 2025, yes. So here's a date in 2025 where Passover Sunday and Resurrection Sunday end up on the same date. So that's a yes. In 2026, no. But what else is another marker that we have to find? What's the other marker? What marker did the Lord give us? Second Sabbath after the first. Second Sabbath after the first. April 4th, first Resurrection Sunday, April the 4th. What's happening this April the 4th? It is a Passover Sunday and Resurrection Sunday, and it is April the 4th. All these other ones do not fall on April the 4th. What I'm showing you, brothers and sisters, this April the 4th date, it's only in this year. Now I could go forward 10 more years or five more years or whatever it is. Could it be there? Possibly. But right now, at least for the next five or six years, the only time that resurrection Sunday and Passover Sunday 
fall together. They fall together. And it's April the 4th is only in 2021 this year. This is the only year in the next one, two, three, four, five, six years. It's the only year where Resurrection Sunday and Passover Sunday land on April the 4th. Even in this year when it is a Passover and Resurrection on the same day, it's not April the 4th. And could that be, brothers and sisters, what our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, and our Lord God was showing us in this four blood moon tetrad? That the date we've always been looking for is when a Passover Sunday becomes Resurrection Sunday, and it's the same day and April the 4th, as the first resurrection was. The first resurrection was a Passover Sunday, which instantaneously turned into a Christian celebration, immediately became a Christian feast day on the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach. That was the first resurrection, the first resurrection Sunday, which changed the Old Testament to now fulfill the New Testament on April the 4th, 33 AD. And now, brothers and sisters, We are once again coming upon an April the 4th date, which clearly matches the second Sabbath after the first, which we were warned about in the blood moon tetrad. It clearly lines up. And when you put the chart out there to see what date should we be looking for? I want everyone to just ask yourself, what date should we be looking for? When Passover Sunday changed from Old Testament to New and turned into Resurrection Sunday, and then you have the blood moons pointing to the exact date of the first resurrection, and now that same date is coming upon us. You tell me, brothers and sisters, what date, what date should we all be looking for? I hope at least this part of the video has opened your eyes to see what I have seen, to understand the understanding I have now come to. What we should have been looking for the whole time, all of us in all ministries, and myself included, why were all of us in all end times ministries, why have we been looking for Jewish holidays to figure out our Christian promise? Haven't we all been doing that? Aren't we looking for our blessed hope? Aren't we looking for our Christian promise of our Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, a date that belongs to the Christians, the believers? Why? Why have all of us end time ministries, myself included, I'm including myself. Why? Why have we been looking at tabernacles and Purim and Hanukkah and and all these other dates? Yes, brothers and sisters, we had connections in the past. We did, and we had reason to believe it. But the Lord gives us a little bit more. We move down the road to another date, and he gives us a little bit more. And he keeps us in the word. He keeps us studying. He keeps us edifying one another. He keeps us talking to each other. We share scriptures with one another. We share ideas. It keeps us in the game. It keeps us looking for him. And each time he gives us a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. But now, brothers and sisters, it's dawned on me. Why are we as Christians looking for Hebrew dates for a Christian promise? The only date, and I want you to hear what I'm about to tell you. The only date in history where it changed from the Old Testament to the New, the fulfillment of the New Testament right here, April 4th, 33 AD, when the Jewish feast day, Passover Sunday changed from a Jewish celebration to a Christian promise. The first resurrection. And when this dawned on me the other day, I quickly realized there is no other date that a Christian should be looking for. Our blessed hope is the day of his resurrection. 
Our blessed hope is the day when he conquered death. And that date, brothers and sisters, became the first ever celebrated Christian holiday, the first ever Christian feast, the first ever fulfillment of the New Testament of his promise to us, the bride of Christ. Brothers and sisters, what I propose to you, to all ministries, is the date we should have always been looking for, is the date Yahshua HaMashiach resurrected from the dead, and that date when it coincides with a Passover, when that date coincides with a Passover, and it lands on the exact same date of the first resurrection, that, brothers and sisters, is the date we should all be looking for.